got a condo in Manhattan Baby, go what's happening? Swing your ass and ride it So go and get to grab it So pop a phone, pop a Hi guys, Imani Marie here, of course. Today, I'm doing something a little bit new from, I wouldn't say different because there's plenty of people that has done a makeup collab, but I have never done one. This is actually my first makeup collabing video. I am working with the beautiful doll named Sam. Basically, we, we came up with this this just colorful theme and we found a palette in common and that palette in common was actually the um, BH Cosmetics Take Me Away or Take Me Back to Brazil. I have the specific um, name of that palette in the description box below. We only use that palette to create the look of our choice. I will have Sam's socials, her YouTube, and a couple of pictures from her, um, her look all floating around this video from maybe up in the top of the corners to in the description box for sure so yeah i won't do too much talking i'm going to try something a little different this time let me know how you all feel about the voiceovers versus how i normally do my videos if you would like to see how i created this gorgeous look please stay tuned okay so i'm gonna start by taking my spoolie and cleaning up my eyebrows then i'm gonna take my la pro girl um dark brown eyeliner and I'm just going to outline my eyebrows then as I'm outlining my eyebrows I start to like fill it in to see exactly where I want them to be cleaned up with the concealer at but as you can tell I make them extremely dark in the back but once I get towards the front I start using a very light hand because even your natural eyebrows are not very thick in the front and if they are that's really unique so yeah then I'm going to be taking an angle brush in my radiant cover concealer in the shade beige and I'm just going to clean up my eyebrows you want to do this in a very 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 slow motion you don't want to accidentally cut off your tail of your eyebrow or mess up your arch of your eyebrow because I mean you can go back in and redo it and like clean it up per se but it's just very very time consuming so you can be mistake free if you just take your time and go really, really slow. And remember, your eyebrows are not sisters, they're cousins. There's no way your eyebrows will look exactly the same like you know sisters but cousins you can tell they're related so similar qualities next I'm going to be taking my NYX concealer in the shade alabaster and applying that all over my lids Then I'm going to be taking this very, very bold neon orange and using that as my transition color. The brush that I am going to be using is another BH Cosmetics brush. And this is their like tilted blending brush, I want to say. It was like tilted or angled blending brush, one of them. It's very, very, very freaking soft. And I'm, I love it. It was just gliding on my face. And I personally don't feel like BH Cosmetics eyeshadows are the most buttery but with that with that blending brush it really helped a lot so as you can see I'm gonna be dipping in my palette numerous times just to get that color payout that I prefer Next, I'm going to be taking that dark brown and putting that in my crease. I'm going to do that very, very harsh because that is where I will be doing my cut crease line. So, don't be afraid to make that color dark. I'm going to be taking the same shade that I, the same shade of concealer that I used to prime my eyes 
and I'm going to use that to cut my crease. The brush that I'm using is a Bitch Cosmetic Shader Brush. Next, I'm going to be taking this very, very aqua, deep blue in the BH Cosmetics palette. And I'm just going to apply that to my um, to my lids. Sorry that these eyeshadows don't have names. I know that would help a lot more. But, yeah, they don't have names. And I don't want to create names. So, yeah. It's just the, the, the deepest blue on their palette. So next, I'll be taking that same purple and putting it on the outer corners of my eyes just to smoke that blue in some and give it a little bit more definition. i also be dragging that purple into the crease again because I felt like the purple got lost in the blue as the look came along. So yeah, I just want to kind of bring that purple back a little bit more in the crease. And then I'm going to be taking that white on the palette and putting that in my corners. And taking my glitter glue and applying that at the top of my lids. And using some green glitter just to add a little bit more shine to it. I felt like the look was a little dull. Then I'm going to be taking my NYX face primer. It has like a gold undertone to it. And I'm just going to apply that all over my face. And then I will be taking my Maybelline Dewy Fit Me foundation in the shade Mocha and applying that all over my face with my Damp Beauty Blender. Next, I'll be taking my concealer in the shade Caramel from NYX and I'll be applying that on my highlighted areas of my face. So up under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, up under my nose, my forehead and my chin and I will be blending this out with a damped beauty blender um I used to think it wasn't a difference from using a dry one or a damp one but it really is it helps blend your makeup your concealer out more seamlessly no harsh lines because concealer tends to dry very quick so then you're there stuck trying to really buff out all those harsh lines when really if you damp the beauty blender before you use it, it'll help you way more. So if you don't do that, try it out and let me know if it made a difference in your makeup. And then I'll be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in the shade Medium to Tan. And I'll be using one of the light shades in that palette. I believe it's the lightest shade in that uh, powder kit. And I'll be just using that to set all the concealer that I put up under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, up under my nose, my chin and my forehead. Just to prevent any creasing that may happen as the day goes on. This kit is like holy grail. It is very buttery. The flashback is amazing. There is no flashback, so that's amazing. It um it gives you a natural glow. Nothing too harsh, but if you want to go harsh, it can do that as well. It's very very women of color friendly. I do love that. It's a very, very universal palette, and I, I really do like it. They have a series of them, 
and I tend to get every single one. Next, I'll be taking the dark shade in that same Anastasia Contour Kit palette, and I'll be just using that to just warm up. Next, I'll be taking my NYX Dewy Setting Spray and using that. To top it off, I'll be using a lipstick from NYX called Berry Strudel. And then I will be using a highlighter from ColourPop called Super Shock to add some shine to that face. I love highlighter, as you can tell. Okay, guys, so this is the final look. I'm just going to in my hair a little bit. I hate when I want to get a bone straight look and it's still like. I hope you all enjoyed my makeup tutorial. Please don't forget to go click on Sam's um, link. You can go check out her collab look as well. She did an amazing job. I will talk to you dolls later.